Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this picnic table. When crocheted using 8 ply yarn, this one here, the size is 10 centimetres by 20 centimetres or 4 inches by 8 inches. When crocheted using 4 ply cotton, this one here, the size is 8 centimetres by 14 and a half centimetres or 3 inches by 5 and 3 quarter inches. I'll be using the table on my teddy bear's picnic baby blanket and I'll be crocheting some food and drink and things to put on the top of the table and I'll use it with my father teddy bear and the barbecue. I'll be using four ply crochet cotton today. I'll only need one colour so I'll be using my brown. I've got a 1.5 millimetre crochet hook, sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together, scissors and a darning needle to weave in the ends. Now I'm going to start on the top of the table, just along there, and I start with 35 chain. Now I miss the first two chain and I work one half double crochet into each stitch to the end. A half double crochet is a half treble in the UK. For a half double crochet I put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch, so the third from the hook, and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. And I repeat that all the way across. Yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch, bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook through all the loops. So I'm just working one half double crochet into each chain to the end.
Now that's one half double crochet into each stitch to the end. So I fasten off and I'll just weave in those ends to make it easier for you to see. Now for the first leg, this one here, we turn our work over and join 10 stitches back from the end. So this stitch here and work 28 chain. Now we're going to work a joined double crochet over the fourth and fifth chains from the hook. A joined double crochet would be called a joined treble in the UK. For a joined double crochet we put the yarn around the hook and put our hook into the fourth chain from the hook, bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through two loops, yarn around the hook hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn through two loops, yarn around the hook, take the hook with our yarn at the end through the remaining three loops. Then we work one double crochet into each chain to the last chain. For a double crochet, it's called a treble in the UK, we put the yarn around the hook hook into the next stitch, bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take a hook with the yarn through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining two loops. And we work one double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch.
and we work two double crochet into the last stitch. And then we slip stitch into the bottom of the tabletop. We miss two stitches and then slip stitch into the next stitch and fasten off. I'll just weave in those ends and I'll be back and we'll do the other leg. For this second leg we turn our table back over and we join seven stitches from the end. So this stitch here and work 28 chain. Now we miss the first three chain and work two double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. So two double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. Then we work one double crochet into each stitch until we have two chain left. Now I've got two chain left, I work a join double crochet over the last two chain.
and then I miss two stitches going along the table bottom and slip stitch into the next stitch and fasten off and that's the table top and legs done. I'll just have to iron it into shape before I put it together but it will go like that. For this seat frame we start with 47 chain I've got my 47 chain. Now I miss the first three chain and I work one double crochet into each chain to the end. A double crochet is a treble in the UK. So one double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook and then one double crochet into each stitch to the end. Now I'll work this row and I'll be back when I get to the end. At the end of the row we fasten off For this right seat we join our cotton in our first stitch and work two chain Work one half double crochet in the same stitch as the chain and then one half double crochet into each of the next six stitches. And fasten off. For the left seat we join our cotton seven stitches from the end and work two chain Work one half double crochet in the same stitch as the chain and then work one half double crochet into each stitch to the end. and fasten off. And that's the seat frame with the seats done. I'll just weave in my ends and I'll just give them a bit of an iron to flatten them out and I'll be back and we'll put it together. 
Now I've just got the two pieces, the table piece and the seat frame with the seats. First I stitch the legs together and then with the same cotton I'll stitch the seat part on evenly there. So I'll stitch those together and I'll be back to show you the finished table. And there's a finished picnic table. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and my Patreon account. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.